Get ready for liftoff. Are you rapture ready? Well, so what? Why does it really matter? A lot of people will say, you know, these things will never happen because they brought into a argument called uniformitarianism, which basically is the belief that everything that's happening today will always be. There will never be a dramatic change in God's program. And they mock preachers that talk about these things. And may I just say to you that if you're mocking these things, you are fulfilling prophecy. Because 2 Peter 3, verses 3 and 4 says, Know this, first of all, in the last days, mockers will come with their mocking, following their lust, saying, Where is the promise of His coming? For ever since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue just as it was from the beginning. You see, if you're a Bible student, this shouldn't shock you because God has already judged the world once through the flood. If He's already done it once, what's to stop Him from doing it again? Number one, reject uniformitarianism. Number two, I don't have this on the screen, but live for Christ. If you're a believer in Jesus Christ and you know that any moment you're going to be taken into heaven and either given rewards or not given rewards, then we should be not in a state of compromise today. We should be living for Christ as never before. If there's some ongoing sin pattern in your life today, bring that before the Lord and say, Lord, help me with this so that I can live for you and be your vessel in these last days. Beyond that, reach the lost. What is the fate of your unsaved family member, co-worker, neighbor, if they're never a believer in the gospel, they're left behind to experience all of these things? And then finally, the last one, and with this I'm finished, believe the gospel. It could be that you're here today and you have never really believed the gospel. You've never trusted in the gospel. Why do we call it the gospel? The gospel is this, it's good news. It's good news because Jesus did it all in our place through his death, burial, and resurrection. We don't try to save ourselves, we trust in the one who came to the earth to save us. And you gain right standing before God by simply receiving what he has done for you as a free gift. It isn't something you can earn. If you're trying to earn it, you can't have it. You receive it only as a gift. And the way you receive a gift from God is by faith. For the Bible says, without faith, it is impossible to please God. Faith simply means trust, reliance, dependence, confidence. You're no longer trusting in yourself, your parents, your denomination. You're trusting exclusively in the promises of Jesus Christ for the safekeeping of your soul. That's something you can do right now as you're seated, as the Spirit of God places you under conviction. It's not something you have to raise a hand to do, walk an aisle to do, give money to do, join a church to do. It's a matter of privacy between you and the Lord where you trust in Him and Him alone for your salvation. And if that's something you are doing or have done, then on the authority of the Word of God, you've just changed your eternal destiny. You are a candidate for the next great prophetic event in history, which is the rapture of the church. One second after the rapture, good things for the believer, tough times for the unbeliever. So clearly... The seven and how this should impact our lives. By the seals, Let's close in a word of prayer. And bowls of judgment, Father, we are grateful for this God's grand and glorious Jesus, truth you've given Lamb, us called the rapture of the church. Help this not to be plan. just theories Seek for us, Jesus now as but help it to have a real world judgment. implication Embrace and relevance and regarding how we love. as your people are Subscribe to live for you in these last days. We ask that your hand of blessing would be on this conference and the Spirit of God would use all of the different speakers to bring forth important things that we need to know. We'll be careful to give you all the praise and the glory. We ask these things in Jesus' name and God's people said. Amen.